What is up guys? We're back with some more Fallout today. Episodes five and six this season is going crazy. We cannot wait to see more about the vaults. The wastelanders are freaking sick. The power armor is crazy. The ghoul's cool, man. Yeah, I like the, the ghoul. ghoul. Like I said, I've said it every episode so far, but I I've never seen it and I'm not disappointed so far. It really makes me want to get into the games and learn more, but you know, I'm sort of watching it as a first time viewer experiencing this whole entire new world. So you are someone who's played the game. Right, so I'm a fan. and That's the fun dynamic. I don't want to change yeah, that. Yeah, we're having a blast being being on the other end of the spectrum. Absolutely. If you guys are digging Fallout, man, if that's something that you guys want to see moving forward, just please like the video. If you guys have any fun at all, just maybe consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. And let's go. Let's go. Apparently, the person who does this music did Game of Thrones, but I heard this music is in the game, so. You ripped that thing inside out, its guts went flying everywhere. I thought it was dead meat. Wait, you should brand me. Oh. I'm not officially your squire until you brand me. You sure? It really hurts. I want you to. I want you to. Please. He's such a pod squire. <laughs> He's about to get branded by someone who sh it should be branding him. It is your most sacred duty to protect the Brotherhood, after which it is your most sacred duty to protect me, Knight Titus. Do you accept? Oh, yeah. I bet I do. <laughs> oh, <Old> still. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, that's a commitment right there, ain't it? What a sweet moment, <laughs> I guess. I know, that felt intimate. I cannot wait. Return to base. See the look on everyone's faces. Titus and Thaddeus, the T Boys! <laughs> yeah! Me and Fab. Before we go back to the base, there's probably something I, I, I should tell you. You just branded them, bro. <laughs> I know. And it wasn't an M, it was a T. You gotta get them in the loophole. The reveal. Oh, he's gonna be mad. Maximus. We're not. That feel really awkward. You've been calling him a completely different name. We can still be friends. What did you do? First night, Titus. He's dead. Ooh. So, you and I, we we just have to get our story straight. They're gonna kill you. They'll find out. That just got oh, man. really serious, didn't it? Yeah. I should have known better than to trust you. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Wait, Maximus is kind of cold in here. Oh, no. Don't leave me in here. I'll fucking kill you, Thaddeus. You should have. Oh, we can leave him in there? That That's sucks. crazy. Stick your head's mine now. No. Get back here, please. Oh, man. That's how I know I'm invested, man, because I'm over <laughs> here getting stressed out and my heart rate's going up. That is so scary, dude. Whoa, man. What a start. Show is nuts. He's just stuck, man. <laughs> it's the morning time. And it's hot. In the game, you could like whack them things up for like meat. Radioactive cockroaches are so scary. Loose, what you doing, girl? <laughs> Iconic. Good time, in Lucy. I like how the bear scratches are across the Brotherhood thing. Right, yeah. A little symbolism. Yeah. That was you, right? Back in Philly? Yes, that was that was me. Why can't you move? Just someone stole my fusion quick, please. Can you please let me out? I really want to trust you, but I've had a rough week. <laughs> she really has. Yeah, to be honest. Me too. She doesn't want to dismember anybody else. <laughs> you, uh, I remember that uh, man I left with with the glasses and the <laughs> whole, whole body. Yes. Hey, I'm looking for his head. Just had it, actually. <laughs> oh, no. You have radiation sickness. Oh, I got, from that I got water. Right away, left in the sleeve of my armor. You can have it if you let me out. He's got right away. <laughs> Practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. If you don't get this medicine, you're going to pass out. And if you lose consciousness, we're both going to die. Trust me, please. I, I think I trust them. I mean, not a lot of options on the table. So what's your name? Maximus. 
I'm not Titus. <gasps> no, you're supposed to trust each other. I'm Lucy. He's kind of shady, man. I'm sure he's got reason to be. <laughs> oh. She just turns it. Oh. I've seen these in old engineering manuals, but never in real life. <gasps> no. I'm like, I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> That's an interstellar world. Maybe the logs were falsified. I want to check one more thing. Yes, please find something out. I'm ready. Yeah, I need some development. Breaking news. We know what's in there. It looks like they were trying to get into 31, but why? <laughs> the dude's like, but Scoob. <laughs> like he's so scared, bro. I would be scared. There's all these bodies scratching to leave. That's freaky. If anybody asks what we were, I'll have a heart attack. It's so weird how they feel content in that little vault. I know. Where have you two been? Oh, We've someone been literally has hate potatoes. Potatoes. Well, run along now. Well, she yeah. knows something. She said, "Sus, I got you." I had no idea people lived in those vaults. What did you think was in them? Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> no, just regular folk like me. <laughs> just regular folk. Yeah, so regular. Oh, my squire stole something vital to the Brotherhood. I've got to go after him. You guys have more of those T-60s? Yeah. And guns? Like real, I'm not messing around type guns. <laughs> yep. I have a tracker that'll lead right to that head. Seeing as everybody on Earth seems to be after that thing, I'm guessing that's what you're looking for too? Bingo. What do you suggest? <laughs> we team up. We travel together. Let's go. We use my tracker to catch up to your squire, get the head, and take it to the Brotherhood. In exchange for my help, then you'll lend me the services of five or six of your knights to save my father. That's yeah, but work. he's facing his own trouble, though. He's impersonating over here. Yeah, but he's going to explain all that to her. Why would he? You could have been lying about the medicine, and you weren't. And you could have killed me when I collapsed back there, and you didn't. And I'm from a place where the worst someone can do to you is forget to say thank you. <laughs> Sounds like a nice way to live. It is. <laughs> I love that she loves it, though. Yeah. I mean, the BC alternative is her little bubble. Well, this guy has a promise to keep. I don't know how he's going to keep it. <laughs> he's a complicated fellow, ain't he? <laughs> how long are they going to think that they're doing that, though? <laughs> I mean, they could tell them in their textbooks that radiation sorry, lasts 20,000 years for all they know. And they're just continuing it on because they believe it. You need someone with experience. Hey, it's your vote. No hard feelings, Davey. Just all the uncertainty. Really, it's fine. We vote in private booths for a reason. Yes, I know, he's explaining. Him, yeah. He's explaining why he's not voting for him. I'm going to vote for Betty. Oh. I got that impression. They're playing this music down here, too. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> Tell me what's happened in the last 200 years. <laughs> what do you mean? I know about the Great War and the bombs falling. I just need help with the last 200 years after the bombs fell. The bombs fell when I was a kid. Is that what they tell you in your brotherhood? Whoa. I come from a place where the world is what you make of it. Up until I was six, I really thought that the big light in our farm was the sun. Aww. My mom used to take me to play out under that light, and I swear, I could feel the sun baking my skin. After my mom was gone, I realized it was just her that made it all feel so real. Dang, that was so sad, wasn't it? I know. So what is going on with that vault, then? I don't know. Let's see. So his dad was in 31 before with a 98% majority. Dang. Betty Pearson has been elected vault overseer. Better luck next time, Rich. Yeah. What's up with this that they always have? Kate looks smacking up. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, he's on it. He's so sniffing your trail. You guys use pre-war technology to find and collect pre-war technology to make sure no one has pre-war technology. Well, when you say it like that, I mean, yeah, it's 
It's a big circle for sure, ain't it? Uh oh. Just a couple good old bandit boys. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> Are you armed? <laughs> no. We're just gonna walk on by. That okay with you? It's fine. Give me your gun. No. They said they're not armed. They're lying. You're lying. What's happening over there? Yeah, we're <laughs> just being careful. You can come on through. <laughs> That's a tough way to live, ain't it? Okay. Oh. Uh, I think we're all feeling some tension. <laughs> Naive yeah? Lucy. Why don't we all take a deep breath? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do this. On the count of three, we all raise up our arms. We only said we don't have any weapons. And neither do we. <laughs> oh, either way, could we, could we just give it a try? <laughs> This is like in the game when you have to like try to like what is it called? You have like decisions. This is kind of like what it's like. Hands up on the count of three. You have to like charm somebody Ready? sometimes. One. That's interesting. Two. Three. <laughs> Do you think they're gonna walk by or turn on them? I don't know because I think I have an idea of what those people. I are. think he's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Some dang bandits. Yeah, I couldn't trust you, Kid Rock. <laughs> oh. No, good shot, Maximus. My boy hung in there. Man, why'd you gotta shoot Maximus for? I hate when they do that. I now know. he's gonna be bleeding out and stressed no. out. No. They don't have a lot of resources. Maybe you could just use a stem pack, though. Maybe it'll oh just yeah, forget like about those. So I need to think video game. Like, ooh, med pack. No, hopefully, maybe, maybe. Why? <laughs> oh, fiends. Yeah, the cannibals. <laughs> You've been shot. It's just a scratch. Happens all the time. In what world? What's a fiend? It's people who eat people. People must be sugary because she has some rotten teeth, didn't she? Mm hmm. She said, "I hate it over here." <laughs> they probably got that in the vault. Work with Woody, overseer of the future. Hey, that was a good one, bud. Uh-uh, don't explain it. You ran a great campaign. I know, must have put 10 posters up. When things look glum, vote for somebody from Fall 31. Huh. Is that what they say? I voted for Betty. Yeah, everybody did. 98%, obviously. <laughs> This little friendship with these two. <laughs> you don't think it's weird that we always elect an overseer from Vault 31? They did the same exact thing in Vault 32. Honestly, no. You know, they got that phrase. When things look glum, vote 31. <laughs> it's a powerful slogan. Is it though? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> why are they acting like it's so The guy's like, you're such an idiot. Comments. You might as well be asking why everyone prefers jello cake to apple pie. I don't know They why. don't. <laughs> they just do. No, they don't. He obviously just has no idea, you know? Steph's from Vault 31. <gasps> Steph, how's Vault 31 different from here? Gee, I don't know. Maybe the mashed potatoes were a little better? That is what my dad used to say. That's that's code for something. Oh my gosh, I want to know so bad. <laughs> Why are y'all messing with me? Maybe Vault 31's where all the powerful people are who make all the decisions. Oh, they like, they like, start, Maybe see they Illuminati bring them vault. there. <laughs> Maybe. so strange that their would politics suck. are interesting <laughs> that would suck to all have to attend that shady sand a hey. you know that spot was it was it three or new vegas y'all obviously not new vegas right this isn't real right you never heard of the new california republic Thirty-four thousand people lived here after the war yeah what about reclamation day the, the entire purpose of my vault was to come up to the surface one day and and restart civilization it, it's it's reclamation day it's what keeps us all going and her whole entire world's about to crumble, huh? Right. It already ha happened without us. Aww. She well, went in that I last 200 years. Any better, it didn't Wait, work out. can I pause that for one second? Read that yeah, back please. there. What's it say? It says, if anyone sees this, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you're here. So? 
That's so sad. Just like, I'm sorry that you're in this. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is your life. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I've done like came to the realization that we're in hell a long time ago. I know, but like that is sad. sad. That is deep. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. Side note. Whoa. The the big city. Nothing got bombed up. That was like a moon crater. That's so powerful. Go try to dig a hole. You know what I'm saying? Go try to bury like. Look at the bridge. Your refrigerator. It's the same thing that always happens. Everyone wants to save the world. They just, they disagree on how. Aww. I wonder if anyone survived. I did. <gasps> he was there. Yeah, he said he was there when he was a kid, but <gasps> I thought that happened a long time ago. Wow, that was just someone named Billy in the game, but it was Maximus in the show. That's crazy. Oh, and a knight found him. Yeah, I forgot about that part, to be honest. We have to get you something. We need to get the head. The head can wait. Division of Vault Tech. There could be anything in there. Yeah, like a first aid kit. Lucy! Research and development. Hawthorne Medical Laboratories. Lucy got far. I know. Where'd she go? There's not even a sign of her. <laughs> oh, what kind of door is that? <laughs> Lucy! What in the world? Somebody rigged that place up. Tricked him. It is important to me for us all to see this place together so that we can heal together and rebuild together. What is happening here? These vaults of ours are too sacred to leave empty. Here we go. Some of us will stay home to rebuild 33. Others will be moving into vault 32 in the coming weeks to start anew. What a difference. Maybe this always happens. Maybe. Maybe they didn't look happy about it, though. Maybe they sent him there to kill him off like that. That's what happened in the other one. I mean, I've obviously thought of all the, well, maybe this is experiments. Maybe there's like elites in charge, or, you know, but I don't know. I don't know where they're going to go with it. Did, did they come in and clean it up? Is that what is happening here? Because remember, there's all those dead people. Oh, there's a dang toaster. Good to go. Wow. That's where the blood was. Yeah. My look, he's like, yeah, wet paint. Through. Three democracies and three votes oh. separated to prevent the spread of threats, but connected to aid one another in times of need. And we will carry on until the day we bring that light to the surface. Reclamation Day, boys. Find anything interesting? Uh-uh. Great job cleaning up. The Raiders destroyed so much, but not our spirit. Definitely wasn't Raiders, but whatever. Yeah. This is really interesting, man. I'm loving this. Betty? Ooh. What's he gonna say? When my mother died, what happened to her pit boy? It was buried with her. Mm-mm. Because I buried her myself. Me and your father. Mm. That's not true. I know. And he knows it. Like, where in the hell is she? <laughs> she keeps getting caught up in crazy stuff. <laughs> Where are we? It's okay. We'll be all right. Does she feel safe because it's vaulty? <laughs> Giving vault, vault vibes. Well, that's this what I was thinking, that she is in the vault. We're in the best place in the world. We're in a vault. Yeah, but you know that they don't like outsiders. <laughs> well, they seem to heal them up, though. That was really interesting, guys. Why are they in the vault, you know? So that was really interesting, man. There's definitely something going on with number 31. This vault, right. everyone that keeps getting elected is basically from there. And they were saying there's three democracies that are separated, but close enough to help each other. Lots of state propaganda in this, man. Just very interesting. I, I want to know what's going on. That lady obviously is very Like sinister. she knows something. It, it could be one of those things where And the blonde like, lady does too. You know, sometimes the show will make you seem like something sinister, but in reality, they're just doing what they need to do to like protect yeah. it. It could be one of those things. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, really, really liking this. We didn't see the goal in this do we no not this whole episode right so lucy has radiation poison well she got 
got she got right away or right. whatever. Yeah, so, finally helped herself. So basically. yeah, so from that's Maximus. Good. Her Maximus, Maximus, Maximus got shot. Up. He was good. Right. And yeah, something really weird's going on. They want them to basically resettle that other vault where all the corn's at and stuff, right. and resettle it. Yeah, and they and they cleaned hit the, everything. And they whoa, sorry. They cleaned up all of the dead people, and we don't even know why. They like the people killed themselves, it seems. Well, yeah. Like, how could you put someone? Maybe they all did it to themselves because of the famine. I don't know. Like, because maybe remember, they were sitting, to death, like, they were outside of 31, and it said on the door, We know what's in here. Right. So, what does that mean? Like, they. They harvest all their supplies and don't But how do you get a bunch of people to do that to themselves? To like mask themselves? Right. That'd know. be crazy. Yeah. Ma maybe starve them. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I would rather starve. I don't know, man. It's really hard to imagine me. Yeah. Just like people were just myself. like putting their, putting a fork in You gotta in be careful with the K-I-L-L-Y yourself. Oh. That's a demonetization freaking. Oh, my bad. Nuclear bomb right there on YouTube. Anyways, man, freaking going nuts. Let's watch the next episode. Let's go. Is he like your fave character? I think Lucy's mine. Well, I kind of thought that like Lucy and the Goal were the main characters. Lucy, Goal, and the Maximus. They right? are. Those are like the and big Norm kind of is too. You know, but to be honest, she might not be tripping. Vault seemed kind of cool compared to what's going on uh, up top. Yeah, but they know they've been outside. They don't like them. <laughs> Period. She knows that. Yeah, neither one of them are good. Right. But up top, you can't even like talk to somebody. But I'm saying just because radiation. Yep, it's me, Cooper Howard, star of stage and screen. No, today I'm here to show you a vast and wonderful place. Vault 4. Now I'm speaking to you from deep inside the fully livable model 96JQ1164. And what a song she sings. Now that right there is Vault 4's three foot thick lead casing. Strong enough to keep out the rads and the reds. <laughs> now this corridor here is Sycamore Street, where you'll wave howdy to any one of your 200 neighbors on your way home for an enchanted evening with your loved ones. That's where all those dead bodies were, Sycamore Street. But this is Vault 4, not 31. I mean, they're no, two. No, Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists, specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. That's right. And we'll be living and working right here in Vault 4. Uh, our family and a group of 80 volunteers will be conducting a five-year trial of Vault 4. Five years? Well, I may play a hero in the movies, but... You all are heroes in real life. <laughs> and now you can be a hero too by purchasing a residence in a Vault Tech vault today. The world is going to need Americans just like you to build a better day after. And cut. That was a great take. Fellas, are you happy? <laughs> yeah, right, right? <laughs> yeah, but that looks like the same street, though, the same setup. Yeah, they're probably all like that. Yeah. Well, at the beginning. Oh, I'm uh, very familiar with you guys. You designed the T 45 power armor. Your first mm -hmm. 45. You know, the design flaws were ridiculous, but... Those design flaws of yours cost a lot of good men and women their lives. And most people think scale means increasing global market share. That's thinking in three dimensions, and I'm talking about four. Because what is the ultimate weapon to destroy your competition? It's time. The future of all humanity comes down to one word. Management. Creepy. Sounds like some red activity, don't it? <laughs> yeah. But ask. So he's some type of like defense contractor or something who's made those 45 models. So maybe the military had something to do with it. I mean, obviously, but. A rap party for this. <sighs> Dang. But do you know what I'm saying, though? Maybe that brotherhood had something to do with why all this happened. Maybe. Maybe they like started this huge war and did all this to Roosevelt, like sell their products sorry, or something. You can't come, buddy. They're super expensive. Aww. If I sold 2 billion copies, I wouldn't have a poster of myself in my house. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like we're watching different shows? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> like, what is this? Mr. Howard, Bud Askins. Right. I, Bartholomew Codsworth, am... Um, Codsworth. Perhaps when you finish your shift, we could head up and party in the hot tub. What do you think of that? Oh, no, no. No? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Denied. <laughs> He's a robot in the game. I'm telling you, radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood like a bad case of the clap. A world run by people who wear pocket protectors to a pool party. Sell my vocal rights to that spinning robot they sell to housewives and perverts. Mm -hmm. Guess how much they paid me for that? How much? Two million? Oh, less. No, I got 186 pre-tax. Maybe you could ask for more? Well, I did ask for more. And what did they say? My agent got them to throw in one of those robots. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I walk into my own house, my own voice saying, Hello, sir, do you want to sit down? 
<laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Hollywood is the past. Forget Hollywood. The future, my friend, is products. The end of the world is a product. I'd say the future is golden. That's so future, crazy, bro. Dude, like, if the world's gonna end, you gotta prepare for after. <laughs> like, that's nuts. I know. I, Bath Bath, only means Cogsworth, I'm ever ready to serve. That's arrogant. Like, imagine the world's gonna end and you're just so sure you're gonna survive. That's, <laughs> that's nuts. Oh, hello there, boys. Take his fusion core. There's no fudge yet. Destroying a legitimate business? That's illegal around these parts. Says so, The government. Not the government. I thought Maximus was the government. <laughs> wow, it did survive. Oof. Don't love that. Use some teeth for ammunition. New teeth. The teeth of what? Themselves. I'm fine. You had a rotten human tooth lodged on your shoulder. You are not fine. We can't thank you enough for letting us in and taking care of us. It's what we do here. Oh, and we found his armor. Our surface foragers are bringing it back now. I gotta admit, it sure feels good to be back in a vault. I don't know if you've been to the surface, but it is not good. <laughs> I was born on the surface. Interesting. You're from Shady Sands. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community here in Vault 4. We just need you to stay in quarantine a few hours longer to make sure you don't track in any contamination. I don't trust these people. Right, that seems, it seems like kind of too good to be true. Because I don't trust anybody. No. You smell good. You want to have sex? I don't know. Uh, that weird thing could happen. What weird thing? It gets all big and hard like a big pimple and then it pops. Uh, that's actually completely normal. It happens all the time. Every time, ideally. <laughs> He's like, who in the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a knight. A knight of the brotherhood. Oh yeah, they're not supposed to have families and stuff. <laughs> We're not supposed to. Okie dokie. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> They're like, all right, just be normal about it. <laughs> Pest subjects. <laughs> no. Just to see what they'll do, maybe? I don't know. That's so weird. Maybe they injected him with something. <laughs> we shouldn't be wasting time down here. I think these people are trying to trap us here. No, they're not. She's going to trust them no matter what. Right. Because she's a vault dweller. This is a cult. It's not a cult. Everyone's smiling. This is a safe place where people take care of each other. Sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and Titus. Cyclops. Yeah. Just wanted to say hi. What is this one out there doing over here? Obviously, a few things to be aware of. Stay out of level 12. Obviously, we prefer you not go there. Uh, oh, and if you're unfamiliar with how the bathrooms work, just ask. Asking is less embarrassing than getting it wrong. Okay. What bathroom? Uh, right? And once again, welcome to Vault 4. We're glad to have you. Okay. They're overseers from room 31 too? I don't, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Well, maybe it does look like it. <gasps> Whoa. He has a nose on his forehead. Oh, he can smell her looking at him. He is, what? Is that like a damn dolphin hand? A <laughs> dolphin hand? That was weird, right? That's what I'm saying. When people are nice. I'm, I'm talking about his eyes. Lots of people have one eye. But usually it's just over here right. <laughs> or over there. And the level 12 stuff, I mean. Uh oh. Sorry. No. Have a nice day. <laughs> Awkward. So everything's a little cookie with him. So he's hung up by the government right now. I think about it. Quitting showbiz, buying us a ranch up in Bakersfield. And what would I do? You would. Uh, look pretty and help me raise chickens <laughs> nah she's good in the hot tub look whoa at her she has a pit boy oh come on you, you've seen these around not on you i haven't but askins he licensed them from robco we're integrating them with the vault tech emission systems but askins that's that guy do you really want to spend your nine to fives working with these assholes i need this job coop it guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. Ooh, the good yeah. vaults. She didn't mean to say that. I'm doing what I can. Just trust me. And knowing what I know, that's nuts. Knowing what you know, still nuts. I get the idea that she has a feeling that is coming. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, he does too with the newspapers. 
Sorry you couldn't make it to the party the other night, Charlie. One of your communist meetings? Come on, man. We're actors. We make movies, Charlie. Yeah, the American dream has me getting shot in the ass by you all day. Voltex the fucking devil, man. My wife works here. Do you know what fiduciary responsibility means? I play a cowboy for a living. <laughs> <laughs> so the U.S. government <laughs> has outsourced the survival of the human race to Voltec. <laughs> and Voltec is a private corporation. And how does it make money? By selling volts. That's called capitalism, Charlie. But they can't sell volts if these peace negotiations go through. So Voltec has the fiduciary responsibility to make sure that it don't work out. Oh, yeah, how are they going to do oh. that? So they gave birth to that entity, huh? I don't know. And what happens when the cattle ranchers have more power than the sheriff? The whole town burns down. The U.S. government is broker than a joke. The cattle ranchers are in charge, Coop. Come on, man. You sound like you're a cult. You're sitting here. It sounds like these days. Ready to set the world on fire, Cooper. Maybe you're the one in the cult. Right. He's doing the ads for all this. That's why people don't want to act with him and stuff. He's actually in like a death day cult. You should learn the truth about where your wife works. He's like, wake up, my friend. On Doomsday or whatever the day when the bombs come, it seems like he knows because remember, he's like offended when he tells him to do the thumbs up. He's mm -hmm. like, no, I'm not doing it. So he kind of he, he's kind of like awakened by it, I guess, at that point. Who is it? It's Henry. Henry from the Vault Tech Assistant Training Program. Uh, I'm sorry, Henry, but my wife prefers not to take work calls in the evenings. Oh, no, 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 I'll just be OK, all right. Bye bye. Is Janie asleep? Uh, she's reading Little House on the Prairie to Roosevelt. Ah, does he like it? Hmm. It's going to be hard on her. That's all. Look, she's got that pit boy on. She's wearing it now. in the vaults. Says who? Right, that's how I am. Says who? Who makes that decision? That's just the, um, that's the policy. That means it's coming. It's an avoidable inefficiency. Uh, avoidable inefficiency. Love that. All I'm asking is who decided that there were no dogs in the vault? Who, who, who makes the rules? Somebody decided that and didn't share it with fucking anyone. I mean, what else do you have in store for us? Are the, are the blue jumpsuits, are those mandatory? What if I don't want to wear a blue jumpsuit? What if I want to wear a green one? So the bomb falls and you want to know about your wardrobe? No, I want to know about my freedom. I didn't go to war defending that freedom so that I could live in a cellar under the boot heel of Chairman Bud Askins. And while you were away at war, I stayed home. And every night I was driving myself crazy, imagining the worst. Every day I go into work and I think about how humanity can survive a nuclear event that will wipe out 90% of life on Earth. Yeah, I don't even know what planet you're on sometimes, Coop. But when the bombs drop, a two-hour drive ain't gonna cut it. So yes, there will be no dogs in the vault. None of it is ideal. But if billions of people are going to lose their lives, I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love, that is you and that is Janie, aren't among them. That's so scary. I have worked hard to make sure we go into a special vault for management where we will oversee all of the other vaults for Janie. She just don't want to be on the bottom of society when it all falls apart. Mm -hmm. Dang. I mean, I don't blame her. Well, she wants to be uh, on that top. Never vault. mind. I don't want to tell you. Never mind. I'll tell you. Maybe I'll tell you later. I'm sorry. I know you always try to do the right thing. There can be a middle ground though. Like she's trying to be completely blonde and he's trying to be completely naive. So they both could probably do a better job meeting in the middle. Yeah, I'm with she, him. Like, works for them. If they come up with new rules, I'm like, okay, says who? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I am. Yep. I'm I'm actually from a vault. Goosey McLean. Oh no, no, it's it's Lucy. Bruh. <laughs> nope. With two. It says Goosey. You're from here? Five generations. Just thought because <laughs> uh, people here seem to be refugees from the surface. Tell me about it. Well, <laughs> these people, am I right? His facial expressions are hard to read with just one eye. I know. They come in here with their smelly food in there. I don't understand. If you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? It's a policy from before my time. If you want to get elected, you have to respect their traditions and tolerate them and not call them surfies. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't take in surface dwellers in your vault? Well, no. To be honest, no, we don't. What is that like? No, I think <laughs> what you're doing here is a really good thing. I saw what was... But it's like you can't make a funny joke about it without offending these guys. I mean, one funny joke I told on maybe ten occasions. <laughs> what was the joke? <sighs> I forget. All I know is it was a huge bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to be able to joke about that in this world. Right. What's on level 12 and why can't we go there? <laughs> we don't talk about that. What's the matter with you? Sorry, I, 
I you should go now. I only wanted to. Goodbye, Goosey. <laughs> Get out of here, Goosey. But he's kind of likable. I guess. He's like, there it is. No power core. The fusion core. Is that what it's called, fusion core? There we go. Are those prominent in the game? Well, like just parts of the power armor is. Is like, that how you disable them or something? Honestly, they've mentioned them on the show a lot. Honestly, I can't remember, but that'd be cool to know. Where That's you guys exactly get your what power it's called. From? Yeah, I gotta play some back so I can remember all this, like, small details. How is this man allowed access in there? I don't know. <laughs> I see you found our fusion core. I'm leaving soon. Aren't I? Some people who come here have a hard time adjusting to finally feeling safe. Unit 428. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Have a hot shower. Uh oh. And when you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? He doesn't know what a hot shower is? No. Really? He's a wastelander. That's crazy. And the Brotherhood probably didn't have that. Well, that's what I was thinking. I thought the Brotherhood would have privileges like that. Nah, he institutionalized now. He said it's a cult. They're smiling. <laughs> Dang, that's a nice spot. Oh, we got a welcome gift. Look at that lamp. Oh, that's cool. That looks like ours. <clears throat> Aww, Minus the propaganda. That's all the stuff in the game. No, the Brotherhood, remember, they lived like in military camps, basically. <laughs> right. You have a water and fire, boom, hot shower. A house that rings with joy and laughter. Some like the high road. I like the low road. He just licked that. But yes, indeed, give me the simple. Oh, the robe. White slips. I never was. What is that? Caviar? Fishing. Give me the simple diet. Really expensive ones. I didn't Excuse even look me? at them this time. <laughs> what is this? This is creepy. I know. Where, where is she at? <laughs> Some more bombs. So do you think history repeated itself? Like they sold the idea to these people too? Right. It's like a continuation. Like a cycle, yeah. And they just keep doing it because it works. Mm -hmm. They need more money. Iconic right here, this music. Let's go. It's like the main screen music. It's chills. What's going on? It's a surface dwelling tradition. You're welcome to come. Oh no. <laughs> Everyone seems so happy and gleeful. That was blue eyes right there. The government. <laughs> A Sorrel Booker. Ah, nobody told me it was legal. Mm. Mm. You boys know who mm. you just brought in? Mm. This son bitch right here used to be the best bounty hunter to ever shoot a man in the ass. Say, so you got a needle in thread? Sorry, we don't do a lot of knitting around here. It's called <laughs> sewing. I think I got some in my bag. <sighs> <laughs> He's just eating. He has to watch this. Would you mind? I come on now. So are we old friends, ain't we? Why would you say yes? He's a real life Look cowboy. I don't know what keeps you going. Maybe you just like the feeling of that good old California sunshine on your wrinkly ass face. <laughs> or maybe you're still looking for her. Oh. Who's her? Maybe his wife or his daughter? I sure as hell ain't still alive so that I can have unintelligent conversations with dipshits like yourself. Mind your fucking mouth. That's the president of the government you're talking to. President of the government. <laughs> <laughs> government <laughs> with it. I. <laughs> you a president now. Well, then you might want to hire a publicist. Oh, this is the first I'm hearing about this outfit. And what I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman. Name of Moldavia. Ooh. They call her the Flame Mother. You know why these boys brought you in? Cause I fucked up a poor defenseless gang affiliated organ dealership. <laughs> yep. So if I wanted to let you go scot free, folks might lose faith about what we're trying to do here. And then what? Anarchy in the streets. Exactly. <laughs> As if there's not already anarchy in the streets. Right. <laughs> 
If you need any more evidence, I can tell you about this town I just shot up. Philly? My daddy lives in Philly. Well, not no more he don't. <laughs> Unless he's a coward. My daddy ain't no coward. Oh. Sheriff Rex, take Sheriff Troy's guns away. Take him out back and feed him to the hogs. I was about to say, the goal is about to attack these dudes, right? He was chilling. This man's about to assassinate the president. I got one question for you, old buddy. Why? Oh, Moldaver's up there. Do you have this picture on your wall? That's Moldaver. That's not how I remember her at all. Oh, he knows her. So he went to that guy where that, that yeah, place Yeah, he's going to that place to try to figure it out. So he was suspicious in his day. Well, he has a suspicious mind as it is. Like, he asked those questions. Her, on the other hand, she wasn't willing to dabble in him at all. Or she was, maybe, and just didn't want to share it with him. Yeah, maybe. This is about to be weird as hell. I can just feel it. I know. This little candle lighting. Shh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's like, maybe Maximus is right. Maybe it is kind of culty. What are y'all doing? They about to conjure something. Oh, they're all getting naked. Lucy's like, um... She's a fall right in type of girl. I don't know why she ain't doing it. She's like, this is kind of weird for us vault dwellers. <laughs> <laughs> bring back the past as we remember. We bring back shady sands. We bring back those taken from us by covering ourselves in their ashes. Oh. Ugh. After she does it. Blood must spill. Blood must spill. Blood must spill. They're drinking it? Ugh. Lame mother. Who is this? Melisandre or something? I know. Mount over. Whoa. I'm a big fan. Yo, this just got so weird. How is she still alive? Because that's who took her her dad i know and now she's in there worshiping her oh yeah that's so weird why we need a talk yes you were right about this place no oh, he doesn't want to leave <laughs> you were right these are called oysters you want one they make you feel so good you want to make my cock explode now <laughs> what? sorry intercourse no titus no we need to leave right now these people are insane yeah they're like you a little weird but nice oh he's kind of enjoying it i get why you'd want to stay i know this must all seem really nice compared to the the shoot show that's up there <laughs> but this isn't it they gave me a robe and slippers these people are hiding something from us i'm gonna prove it to you okay yeah he just should have been there did they drug that food or something so you can't be that naive all of a sudden i think they just tricked him up come on She's wilding. She's about to find out. Oh no, Goosey. <laughs> the goose is on the loose. I'm glad she's the main character and not Titus, because we would have never found out about this. He's too he's too sprung. Why the door? Are you talking door? about Maximus? Yeah, Ty what he's Titus. Yeah. Yeah, he's too trick. Lab. There's a thing! So there's multiple of those things. Are those in the games a lot? Mm, there, there there's a few in the games. Doesn't that look like they dip someone in there? There's a head or a face. This is the one where they said the scientists live in, right? I think so. Mm. She's giving birth to them things? What in the world? This show just got a lot stranger. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're eating her. Why? Oh, that's so crazy. Okay, that's why you don't go to that floor. Do you think it was to feed those things? 
Maybe, but how did she get birth to him? I don't know if she gave birth to him. It just looked like that to me, right? Bro, I think she gave birth to him. <gasps> She's pregnant. Is that those cryopods? Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's to do with the nose on his forehead. The triple nose. No, two noses. I saw the door was open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. Babe, I hold on. I need to tell you something because I feel like I need to be on the same page with you, with you as this. Remember when she said, because this isn't spoiling anything, of course, because this is different. Okay. Okay. You know when she said, I wanted to sure we're in a good vault. Right. Okay. When they did all these vaults in playing the games, you know this. There's vaults that were just completely sinister. Okay. Like they were set up to torture people. Mm -hmm. So when these people paid for these vaults, some of them died. Like they basically paid to be an experiment. Right. So that that's why I'm kind of like intrigued about this moment because I'm wondering if these are just like the innocent people who paid for the, you know? Yeah. I mean, it could be. Who knows? Yeah. So anyways, I was just telling you that because that will probably help you understand the vaults more. They're not all good. Hello? Oh, no. Dang, dude. What if you're overreacting? Yeah, you just got a straight harpoon gun. Let's go, Lucy. Dang, Lucy's got hands, don't she? Yeah, remember she was, like, trained? No! You're crazy! Uh oh Not you trained enough. Crazy. Your entire culture is insane! He's just chilling. That's what I'm saying. He's got to be intoxicated or something. All right, guys. So we're six episodes into Fallout, babe. What you think? I'm having a lot of fun with it. The world is intense. I'm really loving the backstory on Cooper. Yeah, like every absolutely. time we go to Cooper and we find out more about like his wife and his family, we're learning more about like just the whole story in itself. It seems like something that sort of got out of control. Like he's sitting there saying, well, who makes the rules? And and I guess his point was sort of that this thing is sort of getting out of control. Like it's taking on its own like life form. It's his own entity at this point. Like this right. whole vault idea. Very interesting to me how the idea was if the end of the world is going to happen, if 90% is going to survive, well, 10 per, or if 90% is going to die, then 10% is going to survive. And those 10%, I mean, they have to be forward thinking people. Right. Because on the other side of that apocalypse, like the world is going to become even more competitive. So yeah. Less people, sure, but significantly less resources, right? right. So um, very interesting how it almost became like a corporation in a sense. And yeah. since it had shareholders and stocks and stuff like that, people invested in the company and the company has a responsibility to grow. So that way the investors can grow their money. And I don't know, like you were saying, there's a lot of evil people. There's a lot of sinister things. Obviously, people with tons of money are not always the most well-rounded individuals. So we all know some of those people do really weird things like Diddy. Right. Uh, <laughs> so if I bought a vault, it wouldn't be very weird for me to think that maybe I would spend a lot of money to have a very sinister vault. I think the weird thing to me about all of that was they sold the idea of these vaults as like, we're we're continuing humanity with these. Like you guys- They're not are, wrong. Well, yeah. yeah, they're not wrong in that aspect, but they kind of are because like, I know like some of the crazy things they do in these things. I, yeah. I do know that. But the truth is, like, this man, Hooper Coward, what is it, Cooper Howard? Cooper Howard, yeah. Yeah, Cooper Howard, he was, like, selling, he he was, like, this this guy who everyone just looked up to, and then he's, like, he's really selling these vaults. And the thing to me, Vault Tech was so involved with him, but in, in the games, too, there's Robco. But it seems to me, like, Robco integrated with Vault Tech because they're profiting off of this, this catastrophic event. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like forward thinking people are going to, you know, they're going to profit, but profit hard. Like, yeah. And you can see through Barb's behavior at the beginning. She's like, oh, let me just check this pit boy. Like she's just checking it to the side, not on her wrist. She's checking it. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know where she starts putting it on. So it seems right. to me like she just, she falls into the yeah, idea absolutely, absolutely. more and more. So I mean, hopefully we see more with that in her. The idea of these things took off and as a culture, like in a society at that point in time, like nuclear war and nuclear fallout, that was something that was on everyone's mind, you know? So, you know, a lot of people in real life sold a lot of fallout shelters. A lot of people built them, a lot oh, of people yeah, invested yeah, yeah. in them. That was a real thing that happened in that time. So. And and if you play, babe, if you ever like, sorry to interrupt you, but if you play Fallout 4, um, the thing about the beginning is you keep getting this sales guy and it's like he's an annoying person because he like is knocking at your door and you're like, oh. He's just, like forcing you to buy Yeah, them. he just yeah. keeps bringing it up. He's like, I just need you to, t I just need you to buy these, blah, blah, blah. 
So, like, you end up doing so or whatever, but you, like, can ask to learn more. But it's like they just push it so hard on certain individuals. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, and obviously they were paying him very well to be in these commercials because he quit acting and he was still able to maintain his very. I mean, he was even saying, like, life doesn't get any better. Mm -hmm. So he was living at the top, man. And they were obviously paying him a lot of money to do those commercials. But, yeah, it's weird because even in the beginning, he knew it was fishy because even the idea of. Well, we're not allowed to have dogs. Okay, very cool. Well, you know, I'm down. Like, I feel you on that. Who says? You know right. what I'm saying? Just a simple question. Who says? Such a simple question and like that. it was that, such a hard question to answer. No one was willing to answer right. it. And so he know, like he knows. At that point, like he knows something's up with right. it, right? A lot of people don't really want to consider that or care about those questions. But if you're going to sit there and say to yourself, okay, we're going to we're gonna put all of our chickens in one basket, right? And we're going to bank on these vaults, saving humanity. If you're not even allowed to ask simple questions like, you know, who gets to make the rules or, you know, a lot of people hate hypotheticals, but hypotheticals are important. Like right. if you're dating someone, you should ask them hypotheticals. Right. Yo, if I lose my arms, you know what I'm saying? You got my back. Like mm -hmm. you should ask those questions. You know right. what I'm saying? So it kind of seems like the overseer in, in each vault does. But the thing is, who's the how do you become the overseer? You know? Yeah. And that's like kind of like we saw in vault 33. They do a vote. But that couldn't be in every vault. But I don't so believe now. in the vote, obviously, because well, yeah, that lady. Because she it was rigged. Vault 31. Well, it's rigged through. It could be rigged through the fact Word that mouth, like, they, changed the, they changed the uh, votes. But it could also be rigged in the sense that the propaganda is so real. Right, because I mean, remember, they even have he, a just saying, said, he said that slogan and it was like law to him. Whack, dude. It was, was so law so to him, whack. though, to Chet or whatever. He was like sitting there. He was like, yeah, I remember that slogan. He's like, ooh, don't say it too Terrible much. Terrible like, slogan. He was like, ooh, don't, don't, don't go dabbling in that. Well, he said that slogan got chills. Yeah. Stood up, and neck got all high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so crazy. It, was, it means like something very sinister or important. I don't know. There's which something one. going on in that vault, right. man. I don't, I don't even understand why these people in vault. What was it? Vault three or four? Um, we just looked at vault four, right? Right, we're on vault four. So I don't understand why those people had blue eyes and why this and why right. that. And they it is a test subjects. So it seems like maybe like maybe they're taking the surface people and like yeah. torturing them yeah. and letting them live that. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Because like those pregnant ladies. Okay, but I will say, baby, in Fallout 4, there's like they stay in those like crypt, cryptic things. They stay in there for like 200 years. So I did see that from Fallout before. So basically those people are just living in there like a pod. Well, if that they're lady's like, living what? in a pod and giving birth to those little fish things and they're eating her, then how the hell am I supposed to predict this show? I well, I don't know. I, I didn't see that part, but I, I do know that. That is what happened. Did I see that wrong? I think I saw that too. Okay. We, there's so no way like, we're both wrong. It's like they have to like give birth to them by a human. Mm -hmm. uh, Very interesting to me, man, not to change the subject, but the ghoul ran into the government. Government. Uh, and <laughs> no end. <laughs> it was basically just a couple outlaws, man, doing right. their thing. They they messed around and found some old Hollywood prop sheriff uniforms, mm -hmm. and they're ready to go. And, and it kind of goes to show you just how like the wasteland is. Like it, it's funny to me though because when we first started the show, you know how we started in the vault. Yeah. So in my mind, like I'm from the vault. Like yeah. I was born in the vault, right? And yeah, so we all were. <laughs> when we went up to the surface, it's weird because I pictured it being like the surface would be whatever, but the vault would be all the mystery. And there's yeah. truth to that, but it's also the opposite. Right. It's almost like the vaults normalize and the surface is the mystery. But the right. vault's almost more interesting because up top, man, is basically just don't run into anyone. Just right. stay to yourself. It's, it's crazy, interesting man. how the vault um, dwellers also just like. How naive they are to up top, like just how much they really don't know. Lucy was literally like, "Hey, what happened the last two hundred years? I've been fed BS. Like, right. <laughs> no one tell has told me the truth. Yeah, like I didn't even know y'all existed up here. So it's like kind of whack that she got fed all this nonsense all the whole time. So yeah, and and the pit boy is kind of like the the symbol. He's kind of like the Uncle Sam of of the vault yeah, the, yeah. The i want you thing yeah. right so when lucy sees that you know she kind of get so i think when lucy finds out that cooper howard's the original pit boy she'll like love that guy maybe there's some i mean for all i know guys i'm reaching maybe there's some spot on the earth that is still amazing and tropical and the people who own all this stuff live there because i don't know man but it's well, really the game i think it's called eden Oh, is there an actual place I, like I, that well in in one of the games if i'm not mistaken there's somewhere called eden where you're supposed to like strive to go to. well because i'm sitting there thinking to myself like if i'm the evil power at bay right and i'm thinking okay i want to have this sinister plan for power and corruption and money or just whatever the case may be like why would i want to do all that damage and then move in right next door and have to live in a vault i don't want right. to live in a vault i like earth i'd rather be not the most powerful person in tijuana than to destroy the planet right. so it seems like 
there's just got to be a lot more going on than just the basic level some government program with right there's some sneaky something. and yeah. it, it all goes to that girl Maldiva Maldiva it's all her because remember he what the ghoul has been saying alive by injecting himself for hundreds of years right, right with that medicine. and she is still alive so mm -hmm. how is she do surviving? It's got to be the same way. I mean, either the same way or something, but he's it, a ghoul. Clearly. It's interesting he, to me they even have these medicines. Right. It's just interesting to me how there appears to be other societies. Like, what was it called? The Shady shady Sands? Yeah. Yeah. That, that and it was alive and, and well. well. Yeah, there was almost 50,000 people in that right. population. And it seemed like they were doing good and they were given their chance maybe to bind to the vaults mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, maybe. And then... They bombed them. Right. So it's very interesting. It seems like every time they're getting it together, they get bombed again. So Right. And it seems like maybe like people find out from another generation profiting off these things and they just keep going. That's what it seems like, right? I don't know, man. It's very strange. Very strange. But I'm really into it, though. I'm having a lot of fun with the show, babe. I'm really liking it. I think it's very interesting how Max Smith told that guy that his true identity and that guy turned on him so fast. Which, right. You know, I kind of figured what happened in real life, but the vibe that the show was giving me, I really thought that he would go in yeah. it. Yeah, but then again, but but you know, I was thinking about this in Game of Thrones. You know how like there's a world building because they have set oaths and set laws in it mm -hmm. that like you only can understand if you're in the story. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's that that that's what Thaddeus was. He was the example of that. That like there's oaths and you just stick with them. Yeah, and I feel like that's kind of what he is because he doesn't want to like. You know how in every story you're kind of like going against the machine and you're going against whatever the laws you're going against the norms. Yeah, absolutely. He's the norm. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, just very interesting to me. I don't know how that whole thing is gonna turn out because I don't really know. I mean, he said that they're gonna kill him when they figure out basically. So we'll just have to see with that. But I don't we think he's gonna make it to the Brotherhood in time. Well, it's just. I guess that's my point is we're almost done with this season. We haven't really even seen anything with the brotherhood. Right. <laughs> like, you know, he's been on his own little journey, so that'll probably make its way. Yeah. It, something's going to come with that. But I did want to say the ghoul is looking for some girl and I'm the prediction is obviously either the wife, the or, wife the or the daughter. daughter of course. And who is it? You know, like, probably who's still alive is what I'm saying. It's got to be the wife, dude. Because what if it's Maldi Dover? What if that's the one? Oh, yeah, because be. when he took that down, remember, he was like, but Why when do he you said it, he seemed there? very emotional, which he could be emotional over Maldiver. Right. But it could be because maybe like when she, he saw her, she was in like a higher up position. And it could be maybe because she's the one who corrupted Barb or something. Like, that's what I'm getting. Maybe she's the the ultimate. Maybe she's the one that said no dogs. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full length reaction to these. We're just going to keep knocking this series out. I don't really know what to expect. I feel like in a lot of these TV shows we watch, kind of like in Game of Thrones, right? The objective of the show is to preserve the seven kingdoms and to put the, the rightful. Realm, yeah, yeah, protect the realm, put the rightful person on the throne. With this show, man, I'm really not sure. I guess the I guess the objective of this show is to try to figure out the grand conspiracy of what's causing nuclear war to keep occurring and keeping these people living and in vaults. Yeah, well, and the other question, the biggest question to me is, why is the ghoul still alive? Why is he alive for the, this many years? What is keeping him going? Well, he had that potion. Is that what you're yeah, asking? Yeah, but, but the, what is his what is his? Well, yeah, motive? I wouldn't want to just... He's, he can't be that scared of death that he's prolonged it right. for 200 years of suffering, right? Uh, maybe he feels guilty because he's he led so many people to want to buy the vault. I don't know. That's Very what I'm interesting. Saying. I'm interested in that. Yo, we're just going to keep peeling back these layers, man, until we discover the core of this onion dog. So, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, man. We'll be back with, I guess, the rest of the season, right? There's two more episodes? Two more. Holy cow. And then we got to wait until it comes back out on TV to watch it? Yeah, who knows when When that is that going to be? I don't know. I know I did hear season two is set, but I, I don't know when. I don't know. I'm definitely going to watch this again for sure. I'll watch this whole series over. I'll watch it twice before the second season comes out. I'm really into it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I just think visually stunning. I think this is a breath of fresh air. Right. It's just so different. I think different. it's different. It's I think so it's very different. different, yes. All the things we've seen... It's very different. Everything we've seen has been completely different. Right. You know, that's definitely. But we haven't really seen unique, anything. This is a unique take. Right, yeah. A unique take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of repetition in TV shows because there's only so many ways you can. Skin a cat or whatever. Skin a saying. cat or whatever <laughs> that weird saying is. But this one's really fun. I'm really liking the show. So uh, we'll see you all in the next one.